Okay, my, do we need more time? My answer key says that the right answer is about 0.26. Okay, talk to your group, see if you want to come up here. One, two, three. Two. Oh, wow. Make sure that whoever's talking is over here by the computer. Isn't it strange to think that logarithms is almost like a, oh, it's almost a relaxing math class, actually. We have to use a lot of brain power. Okay, so to begin, <laughs> we divide it by 5 on both sides. So then it's 6, 3m equals 4, and then we took log 6 of both sides. And then the log 6 and the 6 cancel out. So then it's 3m equals log base 6, 4. Yes, and then you divide 3 by both sides, and then we get m equals 0.774. Did you guys, um, That's wait, we, did. we, we didn't, no. we divided 3 after that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, and then we divide 3. There we go. Got it. So log base 6 of 4 is 0.774. Is, yes. Okay. Sorry. And then the answer is 0.26. Beautiful. Lovely. Grab some prizes. There's only been good ones today, which means we're due for something bad. Yeah. Or it could just be a sweet day. Or it could just be a nice day. I got the lily orange twenty-three. No, <laughs> the one that has like a Didn't scary guy. Which one is that? Twenty-three. 23. Says? All right, twenty-three says, "Long life and happiness will be yours." Aww. It can also mean finding what you seek. And this this card strengthens any other positive card. So that means your card is extra good. Oh, yeah. so unless you've like got a negative card. What do you got? No, mine's number one, the king. Number one, the king. Uh, this card represents paternal and masculine influences. This means that you've got. <laughs> this means that you've got strength drawn from a solid foundation and hard-won life experiences. That you have a strong sense of rules and regulations, and that you're going to be a leader. They don't like that the masculine card is the leader card, but all right. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, everybody cool with me skipping the rest of this page? Okay, so how are you feeling about me? Us just doing some of them, yeah? All right, jump into the next page. Now we've got the problem of this. All right, now what's the opposite of a logarithmic function? A power or exponentials, right? So here's what we do when this happens. First of all, um, if it says log on both sides and it doesn't have a base, you assume that the base is 10 because our powers are usually in 10. Uh, that's like when we, uh, it's called, a, yeah, it's our base that we normally use is 10. And that's literally because humans have 10 fingers, so it's been the easiest for us to count to 10, which means that when we count to 10, after 10, what do you do? Start. You start over. Where if you were in base 7, after 7, you would start over, and that would be the next one, okay? So if you want to, you can make like a mini 10 right here so that you remember. And then what you do is on both sides, you put down a base 10, which means that like this is 10 to the power of this junk and 10 to the power of that junk which cancels both of them out at once, and you end up with 4k minus 5 equals 2k minus 1. So now what? Yep. How? Add 5 to both sides. 
So now I've got 4K equals 2K plus 4. And then? Nope. Subtract 2K. You've got to get the Ks on the same side. And then you've got 2K equals 4. And then divide by 2 on both sides. So then you have K equals 2. How are you feeling about that? Easy peasy. All right. You try number 12. I'm also going to try number 12. You can just look up and see if you got it right when you're done. Just in case you've lost your mind and you forgot how to solve an x squared problem, that's a factoring one. And you will need to be able to factor on the final. Next week, all we're doing is practicing, studying, and making notes for the final. Yes. And after this, all we're doing is studying, making notes, all that stuff for the final. So I will not have any assignments from you for you from here on. How to get this stuff over here, or how to go from this to this? No, how it went from positive to negative. Here? Like the 11s? Uh, no, on the bottom. Oh, then you set each one equal to 0. So it would be x plus 4 equals 0. And to solve that, you subtract 4, which gives you the negative 4 and the negative 7. We all OK? Izzy, how you doing? Good. Need some more time? No. OK. All right, next one I want to do on the back page is number 20. Okay, now one problem with this is that you do have to combine the logs first. There are a couple log rules, and I'm going to write them at the top of this paper right here, or at least the two that you need to care about. One is that if you have a log, it's not how you spell log at all. I just don't need vowels anymore in my life. Log, if you have logs that are the same base, like uh, log base 3 of x um, plus log base 3 of y, uh, you can combine those and say that's log base 3 of x times y. So if there's a plus in between over here, then when they get put together, they're multiplied. Um, same thing here, if it's log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of y, that would be log base log base 3 of x divided by y. So that's really all we're going to do here. I've got here x, y, and here x divided by y. Um, I'm going to combine them first before I solve this. I'm on number 20. Do you see how these are both the same base? So I'm going to combine them and say that's log base 9 of x plus 6 on top and not x on the bottom equals log base 9 of 2. 